Good morning, everyone! Welcome to another episode of our home-based learning formats. Make sure to have your materials ready as we proceed for today's lesson. For today's lesson, we will be learning about angles. Together, we will all learn to find angles and plane shapes in real-world objects, compare the number of sides and the number of angles of plane shapes, identify and compare different kinds of angles, and lastly, identify different kinds of angles in plane shapes and real-world objects. Let's get started. What do you think is being formed in between as these lines meet? Everything we see in the world around us are made out of lines. Let's look at the following pictures and study the lines carefully. Notice how these lines meet at a certain point. What do you think is being formed in between as these lines meet? These are what we call angles. What is an angle? An angle is formed when two lines meet at a certain point. The point where lines meet in an angle is called the vertex. Let's look at the given shape. How many sides does a rectangle have? A rectangle is made of four sides. How many angles are there in a rectangle? There are four angles in a rectangle. How many sides are there in a given square? There are four sides in a square. How many angles are there in a square? There are four angles in a square. What do you notice with the number of sides and the number of angles in a given shape? Let's look at the given triangle. There are three sides in a triangle. How many angles are there in a triangle? There are three angles in a triangle. Did you notice any pattern? Let's try it once again. Look at the given shape. How many sides are there in a pentagon? A pentagon has five sides. How about its angles? How many angles are there in a pentagon? A pentagon has five angles. The number of sides and the number of angles are the same for each shape. Try to get a piece of paper, pause this video, and follow the instruction given. Fold the sheet of paper twice to make an angle like this. The corner of the folded paper is a right angle. A right angle has a square corner. This is a symbol for a right angle. Let's try to use the folded paper to 
to check for a right angle in the given illustration. Keep in mind as you check that the folded paper should be at the corner of the given illustration. This shows that the door has some right angles in it. How many right angles do you think are there in that given door? Again, let's try to put the folded paper at the corner of the given illustration. Let's check if there is a right angle in the given illustration. This shows that the given road sign has some right angles in it. How many right angles do you think are there? We may also use the folded piece of paper to check and analyze the angles in the square. How many right angles are there in a square? There are four right angles in a square. We say that the right angle is the most important angle as it can be used to compare with the other kinds of angles. Let's see how is that possible. You can also use a folded piece of paper to check if other angles are greater than or smaller than a right angle. Look at the given angle. Angle P is smaller than a right angle. It is called an acute angle. An acute angle is an angle that is smaller than a right angle. Angle Q is greater than a right angle. It is called an obtuse angle. We say that an obtuse angle is greater than a right angle. Remember, there are three kinds of angles. Right angle, acute angle, and obtuse angles. Do you still remember which one is greater than a right angle? How about the one that is lesser than a right angle? Let's practice. Which of the following is an example of a right angle? Correct. Angle C is an example of a right angle. Look at the given figures. Which angles are right angles? Angle A, C, and D are examples of right angles. Look at the given figure. Which angles are obtuse angles? Angle B and F are examples of obtuse angles. You're doing great. Let's try another one. Which angle is an acute angle? The answer is angle E. Angle E is an example of acute angle. Let's check how much you have learned in this lesson. This time, I want you to answer the online quiz in the BBS portal. After the short quiz, do not forget to answer your workbook pages 123 to 124. Also, take a picture of your workbooks and send it to my WhatsApp. That's it for me. I'm counting on you. Till our next lesson, have a good day!